I would describe the Y to people as a, more of a community center than a fitness center. That uh, you don't only go for swimming, you don't only go for weight training, you can also engage with your neighbors here. Something that was standout was uh, helping at this garden in um, Ipsy, and it was like a community garden, and just seeing like how involved and like willing to work everyone was, it was just amazing, because that was hard work, like farming, like that's not my thing, but just, gosh, the willingness is amazing, and no one complained, and I was like, I was ready to complain, but seeing that everyone else was, and I was like, well, I can't do this, I need to work like just as hard. There was a kid at Algonquin who was, he just reminded me of myself a lot. Um, he was going through like a couple of things being at Algonquin, and um, one of his things was he's a little uncomfortable because he was the uh, one of the few just black kids at Algonquin, um, and so it was it was nice because I, I remember being a camper at Algonquin and thinking like you know I'm definitely the minority here I'm a little bit uncomfortable like I've never been in a situation where it's like this, um, but at Algonquin it's no one's thinking about that and it, it's it's tough to get that through to a kid. But literally, I mean, like, no one's thinking about that. You're just another kid to everyone else here. Either I would have died of a massive heart attack, which they were kind of surprised that I didn't. Um, so, yeah, I was definitely on the road to having to make some drastic changes. So I started here in September, and within a year I was off of insulin. And I'm convinced that was because... I was coming here. The other people, where they're at right now, or they're not going as fast, the only person you're, you're really in competition with is yourself. I just it was starting to work out, and all of a sudden, you know, you're, you're feeling good, and I've uh, seen the weight starting to come off, and you're, you're like, wow, even at my age, this can be done. So then I've got this little ambition, because you know, I hear a lot of kids younger than me, 20, 30 years old, saying, well, I, oh, it's so hard, or oh, I'd like to. Well, you know, I tell people, I'm like, look, I lost over 100 pounds after I turned 50. You have no excuse. Over two years, I lost 70 pounds. The thing is, I was losing about three or four pounds a month, which isn't really that noticeable. You know, it wasn't, in, and, and so, and it wasn't also the really focus of what I was trying to do. I was trying to just be more fit. As you can see the fitness results faster than you see the weight loss results a lot of the time. First, it's, it's the hardest thing for me was to be consistent, you know, and to come every morning and do it because I really, there were times I dragged my feet, but I said, okay, you have to do it, you have to do it. But now, I don't say that anymore, I, I just come and do it. But for me, it's really, if I didn't have my friends and I search for them the second I get up <laughs> there, I, I don't know that I'd work out. It's, it's, it's my friends it's that yeah. keep me going. I like to watch out a lot. I have housekeeping, I have lots of towels, I work hard. Like I was saying before at camp, like we have so many adult role models, but, and I had that as a kid, but not all kids have that. Um, and so I think camp provides like these people for kids to look up to. What's next for me was giving back to the community. So what the Y does is it really helps me fulfill that goal. On the board we have incubator grants, so any staff member can come to us with a great idea. Um, for example, our Latino program, so we have a Latino outreach program.